support objects are a combination of source, frequency monitor, and mode expansion monitor. When you add an EME simulation region, by default, two ports will be created under the EME object. You can add additional ports by pressing the EME port button in the main menu. One port is designated as the source port, which will inject the selected mode into the device. The solver then calculates how the fields propagate through the device, and all ports, including the source port, will record the resulting fields that exit the port, including the amount of power exiting the port, the field profile, and the fraction of power in each waveguide mode. Ports are labeled automatically, and the port number corresponds to the terms in the calculated S matrix result. You can change the port label of the selected port by using the up and down arrows and changing the order that it's listed in in the object's tree. Port location, which is set in the geometry tab of the edit EME port window, allows you to set the position of the ports to the left or right side of the EME solver region. By default, ports will use the full simulation span inherited from the EME simulation region. If you want to define your own spans for the port, uncheck this option. This may be necessary when you have multiple ports on the same side of the simulation region, as shown in these examples. The Mode Selection option under the EME Port tab allows you to select the modes to use for the mode expansion calculation. You can choose from Fundamental Mode, Fundamental TE or TM, or both. The User Select option launches the Eigenmode Solver, where you can calculate and visualize all the supported modes. Note that multiple modes can be selected. It's possible to use a custom field profile from a .mat file as the source in an EME simulation. To do that, use the User Import option and import the .mat file. The field profile data can either be from another simulation or defined from an equation in the script. The mesh along the propagation direction X is defined by adding cells to the EME simulation region. An eigenmode calculation will be carried out at the center of each of the cells to calculate all of the modes supported at that cross-section. Once the cells have been defined in the EME Setup tab, they automatically appear as children of the EME object.